Yeah, the uh, the coolest part about the Guy Fieri trip was that he was he came to the restaurant because I guess he because he was in town. Obviously, he did the after show yesterday, and it was watching all the people who are like <laughs> tourists who just sit home watching the Food Network. They like Guy Fieri, and they go to the restaurant, and they're like, oh, yeah, I'd like to try this. And they're just eating their whatever, pretzel chicken tenders and awesome macaroni or whatever <laughs> he's got on the menu. And Guy Fieri just starts walking up to the tables going, hey, guys, how you doing? Oh, my God, it's Guy Fieri. That's pretty cool for, like, someone in Missouri. Yeah. You know? I was walking, I was walking uh, in Times Square the other day, and I guess Ricky Martin was in, like, uh, some makeup store. And there was like a hundred people outside, just like holding up their cameras, like trying to take a picture of Ricky, <laughs> Ricky Martin. Martin! Yeah. It's like who gives a fuck about Ricky Martin anymore? But no like one. These tourists, yeah, they love that shit. Like we get spoiled. You yeah, know? yeah, because we like if it's not an A lister, we're like, yeah, okay. Like we'll like, see. Yeah, like living in New York, like you see SNL cast members walking around all the time. Yeah. Like you're just like, oh yeah, that's a guy from SNL. Or Rachel Dratch is in the Apple Store. Yeah, cool. It's like, not a big deal. She probably needs a computer. I so do I. But to them, it is. Yeah, I yeah. hope she doesn't cut me online. <laughs> um, but yeah, like to see Guy Fieri, especially if you're a big enough Guy Fieri At fan to go to the restaurant, right? Yeah, that's kind um, cool. But yeah, he was around, and I'm, I think I'm on good terms with Guy Fieri again. Did he sit and eat with you guys? No, he had to do. He what had to I make the him? rounds. Oh. He had to make the rounds. But he was in here yesterday, and I like that I can bust balls with him now. Like he see he could be a guy who's like, listen, Sam, I'm on the fucking Food Network. I'm a millionaire. Why don't you take your little complaints and shove them directly up your ass? Well, but he's a you did kind of guy. you did shrum him enough to saying that he's now going to listen to the after show. He did. He stopped me. <laughs> in, well, I, and again, Guy Fieri is a nice guy who tends to just be he's nice great. to people. I like you know what I mean. He doesn't. He just says things that are nice to people. But he did say. You know, dude, what you're doing is funny. Well, I didn't even know what you're doing is funny. I got to find out what time it is when I'm back in California. I'll tune in for your show, man. Like, yeah, okay, you will. Thank you. Yeah. No. And he enjoyed how he chistered the morning mashup. Yeah, he like chittered. Yeah. Chistered. Chittered? Chistered. Oh. Chestered. Chestered. Yeah, chestered. chestered the morning mashup. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, about the Guy Fieri trip yesterday. I don't even know if I wanted to share this, what I did with the rest of my afternoon. It got very embarrassing very quickly. It's uh, We're going to do story time. You guys should think of stories. Do you have it? You, I don't have any stories. I'm full. I was just saying, I have plenty of stories. <laughs> okay. I don't know where we're going. Yeah. Travis has shared an embarrassing story. It's Does embarrassing. Does have to do with poo? Oh, it's embarrassing? It's embarrassing. I have plenty of embarrassing stories. I just have to think of one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Eric, you start thinking too. Because Eric's this talking is, about shitting on the side of the highway. Yeah, I've this, told he's you got most stories. embarrassing <laughs> This one is not as bad as Eric shitting on the side of the highway. I don't think anything ever will be. <laughs> but it's I, I in, get a buy for this. It's in the same ballpark. So I was driving home yesterday from Guy Fieri's, and uh, on account of I was thirsty and they was free, I must have had me about fifteen Dr. Peppers. <laughs> no, but I had I had quite a, I, had, I had like a couple Coca Colas. Uh, I had a whole bunch of water. I had I had like a lot of beverages with my you meal. Were feasting, right? I was because because Guy Fieri he sent out. All kinds of food. Like, we didn't order off the menu. He, he was just giving you yeah, guys he just, he probably filled, 15, 20 plates. Exactly. And then 10 plates of desserts. He filled the table up with all the dishes, with all the desserts, all the fixins, everything we could ever want. He hooked us up. Did you and they were in a special room? No. Oh, we just sat at the table. But uh, Normal people? And he brought out the pretzel chicken tenders. They tasted very good. Yeah, but why are they pretzel chicken tenders? Every now and then you get a little crunch of pretzel. Oh, okay. Every now, every like third or fourth bite, you get a little pretzel crunch in there. Yeah, I, I was expecting like the whole chicken to be covered in pretzel pieces, but it wasn't. That's what I thought. I thought it was going to be like those Auntie Anne's like hot dogs in the pretzel. Oh, I thought it was going to be like chicken fingers in a pretzel. Because I've had uh, potato chip chicken where you crunch up potato chips yeah. and that's the batter. Those are good. I thought it was going to be crunched up pretzels was the whole batter, but no, it's just regular batter and then they okay. throw some little little uh, pretzel kernels in there somewhere. Uh, so I had all these beverages with my lunch, and we left, and I didn't use the restroom. When we left, because I was like, you know what? I have a very masculine bladder. Usually, I can really hold my urine, and I, I mean, I'm I'm very good about it. You know, I'm not the guy who has to stop and pee all the time. It's very that's the most manly part of me is my bladder because <laughs> I'll hold it in for hours. I'll go to bed having to pee and be like, you know what? I'll take care of it in the morning. <laughs> bladder control is one of your qualities. That's right. <laughs> I put it on my resume under uh, a- additional skills. <laughs> yes, uh, Adobe Photoshop. Microsoft Office Suite, high bladder control, um, and I don't smoke. So any any use you have for me, I'll do. So 
I was driving home, got my car, everything was okay. I was aware that I had to pee, but I was like, okay, I think I, I think I'm gonna be all right. And then got down driving down the West Side Highway here in New York, and I was like, okay, no, I really have to pee. But you, you know, it's the afternoon. There's no traffic. I'm just gonna rush home. Did you walk from guys to your car? Yeah. Okay. And then you had to wait for your car. And then I had to wait a little bit for the car. You drop him off. I had to. I had to drop Opie off at his place. Oh, jeez. Which is kind of on the way, but not fully on the yeah, way. I mean, pretty it, much. It added an extra ten minutes, say. Maybe fifteen. Could be fifteen. So you had an opportunity to stop at his place and use the. Restaurant. But I was like, you know what? I'm a very masculine guy. Very masculine bladder. Yeah. I can hold it in. Okay. And so I was driving. And I made it to Westchester County. I made it to the county line. That's pretty good. And I was going, I'm starting to feel pain. <laughs> Usually, like, when there's pain associated. And I kind of Are feel... Are you moving around? Yeah, I'm moving around, and I'm holding my crotch with one hand. One hand on the wheel, That's one hand I've... on my crotch, always. <laughs> Be- yeah. Beaver yeah. style. <laughs> and I was leaning back in my chair, too. <laughs> Although, that may be illegal now, the way you can't... You need a hands-free device. I don't know if you're allowed to drive with one hand but on officer. your dick. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand. I have to pee, and this conversation is really I bad. I normally for me have right a now. masculine bladder. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's very masculine. I can hold in my pee for such a long time. So, I made it to Westchester County, but I started feeling pain, and I started to kind of feel like I had to shit too. <laughs> but that was only because I had to pee so bad. That was my brain tricking me. Like, I had to start letting out little farts and stuff <laughs> because I had to pee so bad. But every time a little fart comes out and you feel like you you're going to pee, you're going to push a little bit of pee out. And so I was like, I was seven minutes away from home. OK, Ooh. that's a but, tough one. And I'm thinking I'm thinking in my head, OK, I can drive quickly. Hopefully won't get a ticket because if I get pulled over right now, <laughs> me and the officer are done. Like, this is going to be an event for him to go back to the station house and talk to his fellow employees about so we get, uh, I'm there, I'm 10 minutes away, but I also know I live in a building. I don't have a house. I live in an apartment. So I'm factoring in the amount of time I'm going to have to get out of the car, walk through the garage, wait for the elevator, take the elevator up, walk to my apartment, get to the bathroom, and even the 10 seconds it's going to take me to undo my pants. Those are all little factors. And as I approach the last highway that, I am on, that I'm on before my house for seven minutes, I go, it's not going to happen. I'm not, I'm not making it. I don't think I'm going to make it. This is terrible. I'm, I'm going to be 30 next year. I'm going to be 30 years old. I can't piss myself all over the car. Plus, plus, I have to go so bad, it would be so much. And as I just said, I have to get out of my car, through the garage, into the building, up the elevator, I'm in the lobby of an apartment building. I can't be the piss pants guy <laughs> to all my neighbors. This is not an option. And I go, okay, what am I going to do here? And I'm looking around at everything that's around me. And I go, these are all, I go, I, mean, I got to pull over somewhere. I got to piss by a tree or something. But it's, you didn't have any water bottles? But it's all, oh, I'm get, I, okay, I, okay, okay. It's so all open about. areas. Oh. So I can't piss by the tree because I'll get arrested or I'll get a ticket or something. Like, it'll be very obvious. That there's a guy with a giant afro <laughs> pissing next to a tree. And so I go, okay, that's not going to happen. And I go, okay. And then I start thinking about water bottles because that's a last resort. Because it's, it's 2 o'clock so in the afternoon. I think a last resort is pissing your pants. Maybe. Yeah. But I go, okay, okay, okay. My legs, are, my legs are moving, but my foot is pushing the accelerator pedal. You can't move your legs while you're driving. And I go, okay. And I'm thinking, what do I got? What do I got? And I'm looking around. I have a glass in the car that I stole from a restaurant. But I'm like, I can't piss in a glass. And then I'm like, wait a minute. You guys know this is my coworkers. I always bring that blue water bottle to work. Oh, that's why oh, it's not here no. today. <laughs> <laughs> my Nalgene oh. bottle. You know the blue water bottles that you use over and over again? You fill them up in the sink and you just wash them out and use them again? Yep. I go, yes. <laughs> and so I go, okay. <laughs> And so I lean back because my book bag is in the back seat. Are you still driving? Yep. Okay. I lean back. I got one hand on the wheel, my left hand on the wheel. My right hand is leaned back, and I'm looking for the blue water bottle. And I find it, and it's in my book. I have to open my book bag with my hand without looking at it, find the water bottle. And I have the water bottle in my hand, and I go, okay. And then I'm looking at exits, and I have to, because I can't just stop in the middle of the highway because there's no shoulders. It's a narrow highway. It was the Bronx River Parkway. And there's no, it's a narrow highway. 
So there is no stopping on this highway. <laughs> so I go, okay, I have to pick an exit, and I have to pick one with an immediate off, like they're at an immediate spot. Like I can't drive around and look for a spot because I you do. You can't just be on a service road for a couple miles. Time is of the essence <laughs> at this point. So I look, and there's a sign that says hospital that way. <laughs> And I go, okay, that's what I need. And I follow an ambulance off this exit. And the ambulance sits at the stop sign for like 45 seconds. And I'm going, oh, my God, oh, my. I actually drove around, and I was next to the ambulance. We are going to the same spot. And I reached out in front of him. We pull behind. It's like a hospital with a doctor's office connected. So I pull behind. I go to the, into the doctor's office, not the building, but into the parking lot. And I park my car. And look around, and there's nobody in the cars next to me. And I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do this. And I just start undoing my pants. Now, there's a couple things I learned. Number one, this is not an easy task for me. Because I may have black person hair, but I don't exactly have a seven-inch dick that I can just pull out and lean over. You know what I mean? It's, not, it's barely covering the waistband of my underwear at this point. So this is going to be difficult. Like, I'm still seeing scrotum when the dick ends. Oh, yeah. So you know what I mean? Wait, when you have to pee that bad, your dick is just yeah, tiny. It right. shrivels up inside your body. And like I said, I'm not working with all that much to begin with. So I have a, I have a really need to pee dick. That's not that impressive anyway when I don't need to pee. I got this Nalgene bottle, and there's nobody <laughs> next to me. loved. Right? I, I, bring it to, I bring it to work every day. And so there's a little water left in the Nalgene bottle. So the first thing I do is open the window and pour the water out because I know there's not going to be any room in You're this bottle. You're going to need that space. So I go, okay, here we go. And this is where I learned to have a lot of respect for the truckers of the world <laughs> who don't get to make bathroom stops sometimes. Because I was like, how am I going to make sure that I aim it correctly? Because like I said, I'm not working with anything right now. I, I pushed the head of my penis right up to the opening like so it was touching like yeah. just pushed it like i couldn't get it which by the way that's that's the hardest part of of doing all this is actually taking your dick out you're like yeah. okay i'm committing to this now and it's broad daylight and it's broad daylight and this is like the type of doctor's office where if you're gonna go at two in the afternoon you're 65 plus <laughs> like there's just there's just old people going in to get their prescriptions and to figure out what's wrong with their hips and to figure out why their kids don't call them anymore. That's the only reason anyone's in this office. And those are the people who are parked next to me that could be coming back to their cars at any moment. So I go, okay. And so I pushed, I pushed it. Now, the, you know, the opening for a Nalgene bottle, I'm not working with much, but it's a little thicker than the opening of a Nalgene bottle. So I just push it to the front of it as close as I can get it so it's touching. I'm just like, here we go. This is it. And I just start pissing. And I go, okay, this feels much better. It's going good. But within four seconds, an immediate ricochet effect takes place. <laughs> I'm going, oh, no. And it's getting on my pants, and it's getting on the seat. So I'm going, how do I position this? Is this going well at all? And so I kind of position it where I'm like, okay, I think I got it working right. Okay, I think this is, oh, no, the bottle's starting to fill up. And so I have to then hold it in. I open the car door. Oh. <laughs> I open the car door, pour the entire <laughs> bottle of piss out into the parking lot. But I still got to go very bad. So I close the car door, and then I, I have to line it up again. I didn't know. I had finally hit the sweet spot. Did you spot. open the door, or did you just roll down the window? No, I opened the door. Okay. Because I didn't want to get it on the door. Right. So, <laughs> so someone could have easily seen you just your dick out and everything. Right. right well, there. well, I was looking, and I was, I was you know, holding my breath to hold my piss in. And if anybody had looked, even from the window, they would have seen a skinny white wrist with a hand stick out of the car, turn his <laughs> bottle over, and just uh, light yellow liquid, <laughs> just pour a full Nalgene bottle's worth, 16 ounces, say, of, of yellow liquid all over their parking lot, and then shutting the door right away again. And I have to figure out, okay, i got to line it up again. So I do the same thing I did last time. I just shoved the front of my penis to the, the Nalgene bottle. And I started again. And I go, okay, now we're going fine. Oh, no, the ricochet effect is starting again. <laughs> so I had to figure out the sweet spot. I fill up that bottle and finish. I'm done pissing. The bottle's full. So I'm like, I'm not going to drive home with a piss bottle. <laughs> so I open the door again and poured, and poured the bottle out one more time. Now, 
I might as well have driven home with a piss bottle because at this point, the whole front of my pants are soaked with piss. I can feel it. It's warm. I can smell it. It smells like piss. <laughs> the whole front of my fabric car seat, it's not leather, thank God, but it's like a can. It's a Jeep. So it's a canvas car seat, and the whole thing is soaked with urine. And I'm going, oh, God. And the only thing I can think of as I'm driving home with wet piss pants, <laughs> sitting on a wet piss seat, is... This feels so much better than what I had to, than when I had to pee. So then I had to go upstairs. I, I got home. Is there any reason mm -hmm. why you didn't just go into the hospital slash doctor's office? I didn't know if I could because I, I didn't know exactly where the bathroom was. And time was of the essence. I didn't have 60 seconds yeah. to go look around because the only thing worse than pissing yourself in. I mean, you're talking about at least 32 ounces of piss. Because I filled up two analogy bottles. So at least 32 <laughs> ounces of piss would have come out. The only thing worse than pissing yourself and having these 32 ounces of piss fill up your pants and car seat is if it happens in a doctor's office while you're looking for a bathroom. Do you know where the bathroom is? Yeah, I'll show you in a second. I really have to go. Like the kid in Magnolia. Or I someone's I, I in said, the bathroom. I said I have to go oh, to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go to the bathroom. That's true, yeah. What, what if you like get to the bathroom and it's occupied? Exactly. Yeah. I, I knew my only course of action was <laughs> what I did. It was the most intelligent thing to do. Now, I probably could have figured out a little better aiming system. But when you have to pit, and, and I'm going to tell you something, the stream was very powerful. And that's <laughs> why right. the ricochet was so strong. Because it was such, like I said, I have a very masculine bladder, and my stream is fairly masculine as well. Especially when I've got 32 ounces of Are urine. Are you a heavy peer? Especially when there's 32 ounces of urine waiting to come out of me. They fire like a fire hose. That way. And, it's, and it's sugar. You know, like sugar makes your urine like thicker, you know, because yeah. of all the Coke I was drinking. So <laughs> when I got out of the car in the garage, once I got home, and my pants weren't covered in urine, but the whole crotch area was pissed. filled Did you do, like, the Eddie Vedder thing, like, tied, like, a, a dress shirt around your pants? I had to figure out what to do. <laughs> and I was like, well, here's, I'm going to hold my jacket. Oh, okay. So I put my book bag on and then held my jacket over my crotch, but I had to make sure not to let my jacket touch my crotch, because then the jacket would be piss filled Yeah, you got pee-pee pants. And then I held my bottle in my hand as if it was just, I finished my water bottle. <laughs> so I got home. Threw my water bottle in the dishwasher. Uh, immediately took off my pants and underwear. You I know it away? this is where it's getting sexy. No, I didn't throw it away. I put on new pants and underwear and put my stuff in a washing machine. Were there right other away. dishes? Yeah, I mean it's, it hasn't been washed yet. It's still in there with the ah. other dishes. I, I don't know. Jess handles all that. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so you know, changed my pants and everything, and I put my stuff in the washing machine to clean them. And then I thought to myself, well, how on earth do you get piss out of a car seat? And obviously the piss dripped down off the car seat onto the floor of the car. And it gets warm. Like the floor of a car gets hot because that's where all the stuff is. Hot piss is known for smelling bad, doesn't it? Don't you? Sal, you're yeah. a young guy. Yeah. Will you ever use the phrase smells like hot piss in here? Of course. That would be my car. Yeah. So I go, I don't know. I go, well, Roland always tells me that uh, club soda cleans everything. Yeah. So I, I was like, I don't have any club soda. But you can make it. As I've discussed on the show before, I have a soda stream. Ah. So I made club soda in my soda maker. And I got club soda, and I got Febreze, and I got Resolve uh, carpet cleaner because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And I just poured the whole bottle of, of, of uh, uh, club soda all over the car seat, sprayed it res with Resolve carpet cleaner all over it, and then sprayed Febreze all over it. And then I was like, I don't know what to do. And I had to go out a little bit after that. So I just put a towel over it and went about my business. I went to my parents' house. I didn't tell them any of this. They're probably <laughs> listening right now like, what? Like, I made it seem like I had a very boring day. Yeah, I just got to go to the post office because I had to go to the post office. But, yeah, I didn't tell them any of this. And so, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I didn't tell my parents. Uh, I should probably try to avoid telling Jess about this because she'll probably never look at me the same way again. PB <laughs> Pants Boy. PB <laughs> Pants Boy is what she'll call me. Um... And so, I, you know, I put a towel over the seat. I went about my business. I got home. I lifted the towel up. I smelled the seat. Then it reeked of urine. <laughs> it, smelled, it smelled like piss. And I go, oh, I started Googling and stuff, figuring out what to do. There's a product. I think it's called Urine Be Gone. It's at like Bed Bath & Beyond or something. But the bottle says it's for human and pet accidents. Oh, good. And I said, this applies to me perfectly. And it allows me some plausible deniability at the counter. Oh, you man. know. Uh, a bruiser. 
Yeah, cat had an accident. Old Bruiser Brody is pissing all over the place again. <laughs> Don't ask cats. Don't ask any more questions. <coughs> um, well, uh-huh. it was already Jess was coming home from work at this point, and I was gone, and I had to tell her where I was and everything. And I was like, "Well." I think I'm just going to tell her because I don't really lie that much. I kind of just tell the truth and just see what happens, even if it's ridiculous. And she's your wife, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. Now, do you know how humiliating it is to (laughs) look like me? Just a really odd-looking person with giant sideshow bob hair whose feet stick out when he walks. To be married to a girl who's way above, out of his league. Gorgeous girl. She's got guys hitting on her all the time. I have to tell her, I'm not home at the moment. <laughs> I'm out shopping for a urine be gone. <laughs> oh, did Bruiser Brody have an accident? No, the cat didn't have an accident. Wait till you hear what Jess said. Jess knows everybody who works here. She's met all you. She spent some time with all you. I go, Jess, I have to go. I'm going out to get some urine be gone. I'll tell you the story later. <laughs> she goes, no, no, no. What are you talking about? Did Bruiser have an accident? I go, no, no, no. It's in my car. In your car? There's piss in your car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later. You know what her first reaction was? I think I do, but I want you to say it. She goes like this. Over the phone, on her way home from work. She goes like this. (sighs) Did Roland pee in your car? (laughs) (laughs) I knew it. (laughs) That's that's a possible bullet. She was frustrated because she thought that you had taken a piss in my car. I, I said, I said, no, no, it was kind of me, but it was no big deal. And she goes, she goes, what do you mean it was you? And then Jess is a worrywart, so she goes, she goes, oh, did you get held up? <laughs> she, she, she thought I was carjacked and pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Go, no, I didn't get held up. He should have thrown me into the bus. Going, <laughs> yeah, I got drunk, at guys. I let Roland drive the car, <laughs> yeah, I let and then Roland pissed on me while I was driving. Yeah, and then he and pissed. Now he's not here. He pissed all over my pants and car seat. That's why my pants are. By the way, don't use my Nalgene bottle either. <laughs> um. So yeah. So then I had to explain the whole story to Jess, and uh, she was like. She, she, I had to blow it off because I was like, no, it's just like a funny story. It's just stupid, right? Like I just had to keep hammering that point because at one point she goes, you know, I'm kind of really annoyed that you wouldn't have just peed before you left the restaurant. <laughs> and I, I go like this, like it's her problem, like immediately to cut it off. I go, just, just let it be a funny story. <laughs> she goes, fine. All right, bye. As if like, come on, Jess. How dare you call me immature like I'm a child after this who can't handle his piss. You know I have a masculine bladder. We went over this. It was in my vows. So I had to soak. I don't know what's going to happen. The car is... You you, drove in this morning, right? Yeah. Why don't you take the car wash where they um, have those... They shampoo your seats? I might have to do that. It'll it'll suck it up. Full detail. Yeah. Yeah. Because... I soaked, sure cover it, though. <laughs> I soaked it with urine be gone. Just expensive because it was from a business lunch. It was, it, it was, guy, like, it was that he, goddamn Guy Fieri yeah. again. He brought it to the show. Bill. He brought it to the show. Yeah. So you drove in today. Yeah, and I mean, I put a plastic bag over the seat. Okay. But I moved it before I went to the parking lot. Like those parking lot attendants. Because they all <laughs> leave my car smelling like they're terrible cheap cologne and yeah, stuff like, like that. Like Seinfeld, the yeah. B.O. <laughs> Yeah, and body odor and farts and stuff. So they can sit in the piss for a little bit. But I got down and the car seat. The car seat. (laughs) Not just now. The car seat did still kind of smell like piss and stuff. So I got to soak it again with urine be gone. And then I might have to get it detailed. Who could? You just missed a hell of a story. Oh, man. I fucked up. Bad timing. I pissed all over myself. (laughs) Did you? Yesterday. Oh, I thought you did now. No, no, yesterday. <laughs> well, to get you a pamper. Or I, no, I tried to. I tried to piss in my Nalgene. You know, what now do black people use Nalgene bottles? Uh, it's no. Like a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> no. It's a, Why it's, it overflowed? It's what a, happened? It's a water bottle that you know you can refill. It's one of those plastic bottles. And you peed in it. I had to Why? piss. I was driving home. I wasn't going to make it home. Why you didn't pull over on the highway? Just... I did pull over, but I would have gotten arrested for public urination. There's no cops out there right now. Yes, right? Yes, there are. It was open areas. Yeah, you got probably got a hundred seventy-five dollar ticket though. I don't need that. I don't need that in my There's life. There's no police. You know. Instead, instead, I'm gonna avoid the hundred seventy-five dollar ticket by pissing all over my car seats. And it costs you more. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All the cops are in downtown with Justin Bieber right now. They're not worried about 
Not people, the Westchester people. cops. The Westchester, oh, Westchester police oh, is what yeah. you got to worry yeah. about. Who cares? Uh, that's a real racism right there. I'm exactly. Sorry. And they'll see an, a kid with an afro pissing all over the place. They're going to arrest this kid. You do look half black, too, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm black enough for Westchester. <laughs> He might get a ticket for your dick, man. Hey, well, no, that's what I said. That's what I said. Who kid? It was there was or is it there, small? there was nothing black about my dick when I took it out to piss. They, they do give tickets for little dicks, though. I don't know. I didn't realize that. It's a double ticket, though. <laughs> Peeing and little dicks. Oh they check the dick and see. Oh, a little dick too. But yeah, because I didn't know the aiming was bad, so it ricocheted. I didn't actually just piss on myself. I pissed in the bottle, but it, it ricocheted back on me and all over the car. Did it smell? Yeah, it smelled like piss. What did you drink that day? Uh, Coca Cola and lots of water. <laughs> yeah, like four cokes. Yeah, it was free. Who kids? You know how we black folks love our free lunches. Yeah, I just drank my water. That's all I drink. I don't know why there's a White Castle at the fucking vending machine. I think that's fucking racist. I think it's racist too. There's, there's nobody up here that's eating but, White Castle. But whoever eating it, you know, they're in the bathroom all day just shitting, shitting their brains out, <laughs> just like gripping onto that rail, the handicap rail, just crying. I saw Stephen Blatter order it one time, but he or a White Castle. But he turned well, around when I came in the thing. You know, he's trying to he's trying to really get in with Shade Forty Five. So oh, he's trying, yeah, he's trying to be like, I got guys, I got White Castle. I'm shit on myself today in the meeting. <laughs> I gotta take some. Just plays a fart. <laughs> a lot of people want to comment on the story I just told. Who kid? Jesus. Uh, Drew. Mm, my yeah, man. Look, I, I listened to that whole story and I called in before the ultimate payoff, which is uh, just thinking rolling pissed in your car. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's your favorite part. Yeah, that's now my favorite part. But now that Who kid's in the store in the in the studio, I can say this: <laughs> ain't a fucking nigga in the world gonna piss on his seat. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> with two fucking doors open. Exactly. A nigga you pee. open the fucking two doors, you piss on the goddamn parking lot, and you're done with it. Exactly. What do you mean? Like, you open the That's door? That's exactly what a nigga would do. You you it's like a stall. Door, you open the front door, you open the back door, you fucking take a piss, yep. you close the doors, and you go. It's a human stall for your car. Like, you you piss outside the door? Like you in the middle. So the, both doors in cover you. In the middle. You. Come on, man. You, door you, don't, you don't know how to be a nigga, man. You don't know how to be a nigga. Door open, door open, then you're in the middle just pissing. Yeah. I shit that way before. Uh, you have? Oh, yeah, tons of times. <laughs> yeah, some Latin shit. I don't uh. know, man. <laughs> well, a nigga would pee on the side. Like, he's right. He's actually correct. Charlie in Santa Cruz. <laughs> Come on, Sam. You can do better than that. All you do, Sam, mm -hmm. you open up the hood of your car, you get in front of it, pull your dick out, put both hands on top of the freaking hood, yeah. and piss. And that looks like radiator fluid. It looks like radiator fluid is coming out of the bottom of your radiator. Yeah. See, that's fucking brilliant. That's that a, is what I would that's do. A small but then you, then you turn your air conditioning, it smells like piss. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying, <laughs> that's then your car that's reeks that's of that. fucking that's piss. Well, you don't have to piss inside the car. No, it's just going to stink. Well, you, get, you know what else makes your car smell like piss? Your seat? All over, when you piss all over the seat. <laughs> when you piss all over the seat and you watch it piss, piss. When you watch piss drip off your seat onto the floor of your car, it makes it smell like, who kid? As the black people would say. Yeah. It smells like hot piss in here. <laughs> As R. Kelly would say. And that's what it smelled like. It was. But that's some smart shit, the last comment, though. That is really smart. Pop the hood, act like you check checking the engine, and let it go. That's smart. <laughs> Rich on Long Island. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Danny boy? Dude, that was the funniest fucking story I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing so hard. Good, man. Sammy, okay, what's up? What up, my nigga? Thank you, Rich. <laughs> uh, Eric. Sammy. What's up, you buddy? Are the, you are the shit. I love you, Sammy. <laughs> Thank I you. I give you more shows to do. Listen, no, they're actually giving me less, I, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're giving, what, they're what taking this away from me. Go ahead. If, if you get anything liquid, it stinks in your car. You guys get those self-serve car washers, you know, where they get the vacuums for a couple quarters. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go there, suck all the liquid out. Then pour club soda, whatever on it, and suck that out. It'll mm -hmm. be gone a couple of times, no problem. But I, I kind of want to go to one of those car wash places and just, just to say, hey, boy, clean the piss out of my car. Yeah. You know what? If they paid the great Sam Roberts what he's worth... Yeah, absolutely. That's all you need to do is they drop don't. it off and say, hey, you deal with this mess. I mean, like I but, said, they're not paying me. They're taking shows away at this point. It might be a privilege no, to clean your piss. That, Bullshit. That, more important, that, that manly bladder that you have. That's right. I, I, who kid? You weren't, you weren't here. I was telling everybody about my masculine bladder. I'm able to hold yeah. urine in for quite some time. Damn. Usually. Usually. Not yesterday, but usually. Ooh, strong squeeze muscles down there. That's right. I do kegels on my dick. Yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen to you, Sam. I was like that my whole life. I'm 49 now. My doctor told me because I would hold it in so long, so mm -hmm. much. Like a man. Made my, 
yeah, it's made my prostate swell up. So oh. now I got to take a piss real bad. I hold it. It's like you got to think about it for 15 seconds before you can get it to trickle out the end of your dick. So, Damn. Yeah. Wow. You're going to pay for that one day. You're going to pay. Thank you for the advice, Eric. Damn, let yeah, it out, Sid. Let it out, man. <laughs> All right, buddy. So um, his balls exploded? No, it, it inflated, right? His balls? No, his prostate, not his, his balls. His asshole. Do you know what the prostate is, who kid? I thought it was balls. No, no, prostate, that's <laughs> testicles you're thinking of. Yeah. Why, was the, why was my doctor checking my balls? Because he likes you. He likes you, yeah, yeah, you're a celebrity. <laughs> Yo, that nigga who get it here? You should have seen his balls. That bastard. No, prostate, when they shove their finger up your ass, that's when they're checking your prostate. Oh, are you serious? If yeah. you ask ask one of your bitches next time you see your bitches. Yeah. And your doctor's to give not you, supposed to suck your balls either. <laughs> ask him to give you ask ask one of your chicks to give you a prostate that exam. Faggot, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've been molested by my doctor all this time. Ask one of the chicks you're with to give you a prostate <laughs> exam and say no glove. Watch what happens. Uh Jason. Some shit yeah. right there. Uh, I talked about a breath test for all day long, so I know they I don't understand a word you're saying. You sound like a fucking transformer or something, right? I know. I mean, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my embarrassment. I hope I brought you some entertainment. I would be mad at Jess for accusing me, but it, but it, it probably would I, happen. I told my wife there was piss in my car I had to clean out before I told her what happened. Damn. She goes, her first reaction is was this. <sighs> Did Roland piss in your car? <laughs> Without knowing any facts. All right, stay tuned. Jay and Rye is on feedback saying, Hey, Sam, did you tell Opie that you peed your pants and Jeep? I didn't pee my pants and Jeep. I peed on my pants and Jeep. It's a totally different thing. And yes, I told him. Ant heard the after show. He thought it was funny. The other thing, I was talking, Sal, after the show, realized, I guess I didn't tell this in the story yesterday, that I didn't throw out the Nalgene bottle. Like, I kept it and washed it so I could use it again. Like It's severely disturbing. I'm going to wash it a you couple times. You don't have it today, do you? No, I don't have it today. <laughs> it's still but being sterilized. It was very funny because yesterday, this is a little addendum to the story. If you missed yesterday's show, go to SiriusXM.com and listen to the shows on demand. The after shows are always attached to the Opie and Anthony show. So, yeah, you got to hear the peace story from yesterday. But what happened was Jess and I were talking. And we were talking, it was a kind of a, a, a serious conversation. She's bringing up Patrice and how somebody in her office had died and dealing with that. In the middle of talking about this, she opens the dishwasher. And I go, yeah, it's just one of those things because you don't see it coming. And she looks at me and goes, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I go, I go, what? And she goes, you put that bottle back in the dishwasher with all the other dishes. That's your pee bottle. I go, yeah, it's washed now. She wasn't too happy. You're that cheap, you wouldn't just run it like a, a single load with just the Nalgene in it by itself. It never occurred to me. I just figured, because I didn't even put the dishwasher on. I just put uh. the bottle in with the dirty dishes and said, once this thing is on, oh, come on, we'll all be clean. Well, it's not like it spread. If the dishwasher spread dirt throughout all the dishes, then it wouldn't be effective. Would no, it? No, it cleans everything. It doesn't spread all the germs everywhere. It's just a, like a principal thing. It eliminates the germs. It makes everything clean. So, I mean, if you're going to make everything clean, that's something that definitely needs to be clean. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Trucker Bob, you're on after Opie and Anthony Live. Sammy, throw that bottle away, man. Most plastics are porous. Isn't that the whole point of the Nalgene bottle, though, that it doesn't, it's not porous? Yeah, but the gasket might have some piss in it, you know. I, oh, yeah. Oh, man, throw the bottle away. Come on, you can fork me one. Maybe I'll throw it away. It's probably Maybe. only like $7. We, we can't shit. have you sick, brother. Uh, you're right, Trucker Bob. I need to be here for you. Yeah, the rest will you know, squeeze people in. What? Sal? Shut the fuck up. Any I, guesses? I don't know. Please mark that, though. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Please. Do you have any clue? No, that's why I said what? Yeah, if you, yeah somebody needs to mark that. Mark because, that Roland, out. what did you just say? Oh, no, never mind. You guys will get no autographs. Go for it. Keep on making fun of me. Why are you making fun of you? Roland, nobody knows what you said. Go fuck yourself. We were asking a question. We weren't making fun of you. We, we literally said, didn't have a clue what you just said. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> right, got it that time. Enjoy <laughs> your pitch with no autographs. The why first why? time. Don't get <laughs> hand up angry! <laughs> Now I'm sad. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I got it. Never mind. Because the panda was getting angry. Right, 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 right. Murph in Georgia. Hey, Murph. boys. Hey, hey Sam. Yeah. What's that bottle, buddy? He just had a little bit of ammonia, some salt, and bacteria. No big deal. Just yeah, I'm, uh, Well, I mean, isn't urine sterile? It, to you. To me? You know, well, so 
Who's going to be drinking out of it? Yeah, yeah you can do that. It's no, no problem, problem, right? 